A crew of underwater researchers must scramble to safety after an earthquake devastates their subterranean laboratory. Led by their captain, the survivors realize that their only hope is to walk a mile across the seafloor to reach their escape pods. But soon they find themselves in a fight for their lives as they come under attack by mysterious and deadly creatures. Hey creeps, my name is Scara and welcome to my Tub of Terror. Today I'll be reviewing the movie Underwater and I'll do so rather quickly because these bubbles won't last forever. Let's slide on into it with a little fact. Fox finished filming and editing this movie back in 2017, but at the same time that year, 2017, Fox was purchased by Disney and the movie was shelved for three entire years. Let's see, who do I want to talk about first? Probably the star of the movie, Kristen Stewart. She plays Nora, who is a mechanical engineer on the Kepler, which is like um, this kind of, you know, underwater rig uh, full of blue collar workers and scientists. Now, Nora has like this very short blonde, platinum blonde buzz cut looking like Lori Perry, sort of. Uh, she's got that anti-Hollywood hairdo going on. And uh, Stewart's like palpable angst that she's known for really works in this role. The movie's only a few minutes old when you realize that you're gonna be in for quite the ride. You see Nora's in the bathroom by herself, brushing her teeth and whatnot, and there's a slight tremor, and then another. And then there's a drip coming from the ceiling, slowly, and then it kind of increases. And then the water crashes through a breach in the hole and Nora runs down the hall and she's banging on all the doors trying to warn everybody to get to safety before all the water comes through and just explodes and implodes the whole thing. But she's running and she's running, she's banging on the doors and she has to sacrifice some of her crew members so that she can save herself and the rest of the crew. It's a whole thing. So we find out that in the entire crew, there are only seven survivors. You have uh, Nora and six other people. Now the only other character that I'm really gonna talk about is the one played by T.J. Miller. I think his name is Paul, he's another crew member, and they find him buried under the rubble, and he's holding this like white stuffed rabbit. So it turns out that Paul is kind of the like, um, Ooh, wacky guy, comic relief, tension breaker dude. And at first, it's just kind of forced upon you. It's like when you buy a new pair of jeans and you're wearing them around and they're kind of tight and uncomfortable around your waist. And then as the day goes though, they like loosen up a bit and then you're like, hey, look at my ass, it looks pretty good. That's how TJ Miller's character is. It becomes the right kind of weird eventually. But at first it's, you know, it's just forced and and uncomfortable. William Eubanks is the director and along with the effects team and the cinematographer they're able to shoot most of the movie underwater without actually ever shooting underwater. <clears throat> now the way they do that's rather complicated so let me share it with you. Okay here we go. What they do is they shoot on dark stages with no lights for the underwater scenes. They use volumetric scanning by putting some atmosphere around the actors and letting their flashlights move around through the particles. And then they were able to measure the approximate density about which the water should be moving around them. Let's talk similarities. This movie can heavily be compared to the movie Alien from 1979. I mean, they bring like this gnarly baby alien looking creature onto the ship, which is a big mistake. Uh, just like in the movie Alien, the crew is a mix of scientists and blue collar workers. Um, you see that the movie is a disaster slash sci-fi slash monster movie, which is really cool. And our heroine, Kristen Stewart, even runs around in her little bitty tiny skimpy underwear at one point. Look, I don't blame the director for putting in the underwear scenes. I mean, I don't need it, but I understand showing a little skin to sell the show. What? 
So disaster after disaster happens and our crew dwindles down one member to the next as they start expiring left and right. And then bitch, once you think you've seen the monster, you have not seen the monster. Wait until you actually see the monster. My final thought is Underwater is a fun throwback monster disaster movie that heavily borrows from Alien, but is actually a love letter to Lovecraft. I liked it. Well, it looks like I'm all out of bubbles, so I better wrap this up. Be sure to like and subscribe to the Horror Web YouTube to see more of me in my tub of terror, and comment below to let me know what you thought of Underwater. I bet you wish you were underwater right now. My name is Scara, and I'll see you in your screens. <laughs> <laughs>